Hey guys, this is Never Ending Reader and I'm Brittany and welcome to my March wrap up. So this month I read seven books, five of them were adult books, one of them was a young adult and then one of them was middle grade. I think I had one two star, one three star, one five star, and then the rest of them were four star. I'm not going to be showing these books in any particular order. I'm just going to show them to you uh, how I have them stacked here. The first book that I have to talk about is The Shining by Stephen King. I finally finished it. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with what this is about, but if you're not, it's about this man named Jack and him and his wife and son go to stay at this hotel for the entire winter because they have to like take care of the hotel so he is literally the caretaker and then he like starts to go like rapidly insane and it's just a story like following them and his son like has the shining which is kind of like this supernatural power type of thing where he can like read your thoughts and like see in the future and this and that and it was really good. The beginning of this was like really slow so it took me forever to get into but once I was into it I was like hooked bad. And this one seemed to read like smoother than other Stephen Kings that I've read so I think I've read a few of them in publication order like Carrie and Salem's Lot. I did read Rage, I hated it and this like read way smoother than those and it was actually pretty spooky. There was a time in this book where I actually was like, oh my god, I don't think I can finish this because I was literally so scared. I put it in another room and went to bed and I was like, I'm not touching this for the rest of my life because I got super, super scared. I ended up finishing it nonetheless and I really liked it and it kind of sucked that it was slow to get into. But aside from that, I didn't have, like, any problems with it. I thought that the side characters were great. I thought that, like, this descent into madness was, like, so interesting. And so I ended up giving this one four stars. I did watch the movie after I finished this for the first time, the one with Jack Nicholson. I have, like, always heard that that's, like, Stephen King's least favorite movie adaptation of his. And I, like, disagree. I can see why people would think that it's an issue. Because, like, the endings are, like, so completely different. But I really love the movie. I thought thought it was one of my favorite movies that I've ever seen and I'm glad that I watched it so I have no gripe with that and that's pretty impressive because I actually don't usually like book to movie adaptations but this one was just really good I liked it so four stars to The Shining. The next book that I read was The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz and I gave this one three stars it is middle grade this is about like Disney character like villains and they round up all these Disney villains and they send them to the Isle of the Lost and they're like they're like literally banished from the rest of society so like all these villains end up having children and then this book follows the children of the villains. And the island was like super interesting because it's like all villains so like the actual scenery of the island and like the things that are happening. It's all like just really evil stuff but this is also middle grade so it was like generic evil and even like the dialogue was like super generic but it is middle grade so I always give middle grade a pass when it comes to that because it is for a different audience that I, I am not that audience. So I'm a huge Disney lover and I thought all the cute little Disney references in this were just like so fun. I really like them like... On the Isle, you follow Mal, and she is the daughter of Maleficent, and then you follow Carlos, who I believe was the son of Cruella de Vil. We follow Jay, who is the son of Jafar, and he's like this thief, which I always love, like a good thief story. And Evie is the daughter of the Evil Queen, and she's like very vain because her mom's really vain. And then the last character that we follow is Ben, and he is the son of Belle and the Beast, but he's obviously not on the villain island. He's, like, over in normal fairyland or whatever. So this was just, like, really easy to follow. It was a good, like, nice middle-grade adventure. I thought it was really fun. I loved all the character references, like Flounder over in, like, the nice fantasy land and there's like a mention of little Gus Gus and like I don't know I really love Disney so I gave it three stars and I think it was a really good middle grade and I definitely am gonna hold on to it for my kids when they are older. I also read Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass and I ended up giving this four stars even though I literally hated all the characters in this one. So if you don't know this is the I think sixth book in the series and this follows Cal and his friend like I think her name is pronounced Nesrin and I just really dislike their characters but like the setting of this book was absolutely beautiful so I ended up giving it four stars because I really love Sarah J Mass's like storytelling but I couldn't like 
get on board with these characters. I just don't like them at all and it sucks for me but I just they're not for me. I've never liked Cal like even from the first book. I just don't like him. I don't like his friend Nesrin or however you pronounce it. I just don't like them but the story was still like cohesive and fun and I literally cried like three times at the end for absolutely no reason. I just really love her world building and like the setting of this one is probably my favorite setting of all the books which is pretty incredible because I really like all of them. So I am really excited to see where the series goes. I am hopefully getting to the next book in May and then I will be finished with the series and it will be so beautiful. Cannot wait for that. Four stars to Tower of Dawn and yeah. I also finished The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory this month and I ended up giving this one four stars as well because the beginning was like kind of slow which is just my biggest issue this month for some reason but I still really liked it. So this series actually follows all the Tudor women throughout like history or whatever so this one actually follows Catherine of Aragon and if you don't know Catherine is the first wife of King Henry VIII but this actually follows her life from the time that she was like a little girl up until the time she's been married to King Henry for like a couple years I think. So what I really liked about this was that we got a taste of like Catherine's life when she was younger and I didn't realize like how incredible her parents were. I mean they were pretty awful but they were also like like her mom was a total badass and I respect that and I really just liked Catherine's attitude because when you read or watch TV shows about King Henry VIII like she's always portrayed as like just this wet blanket of a person and I hated her always so I was not really excited about this. I love that it included her life like as she was married to King Henry's older brother. Eventually he died and so she married Henry instead. I thought it was just like a great story about a woman in history and I am excited to read the next one. I think the next one is about Margaret de la Pole or something. So yeah, hopefully I can get to that one in the next couple months. Four stars to this. I really liked it. Yeah. I also read The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon and I ended up giving this two stars so I'm sure everybody is going to come crucify me. I know like a lot of people like this but I just wasn't one of those people unfortunately. This follows a boy named Chris and he witnesses like, well he doesn't witness it, he like finds a murdered dog and so like he's going to like crack this mystery of like who murdered this dog but there's like a lot of underlying things that are happening throughout this book. Chris is autistic, I believe. They never actually stated it in the book, but I'm pretty sure he is. And it kind of just follows his life and like all of his hardships and stuff. The reason that I ended up giving this two stars was because the writing style like literally was giving me panic attacks the entire time I was reading it. That unfortunately happens to me with these certain writing styles. There was a lot of like run on sentences type of thing to where this was reading like very very fast and the thought process was very very fast in this book and it was just like scrambling me up and I just didn't really like it. I didn't want to read it. I did end up finishing it and it was just kind of meh for me so I gave it two stars just because that's like my number one thing about books is this specific writing style like gives me anxiety so so I didn't love it but I would recommend it to other people it just really was not for me which really is unfortunate for me I just have like a really big issue with like fast-paced thoughts and dialogue and stuff and it just was not good I also read State of Wonder by Ann Patchett and this follows a young woman and she is like a scientist in a pharmaceutical company and one day she is working and one of her co-workers is like hey um you remember that guy that you worked with for like literally years well he's actually dead because he went on this like mission to like find this doctor in the Amazon and like we just got a letter saying he's dead so we follow this scientist I believe her name was Marina and she is going to the Amazon to like find her co-workers body and like get to the bottom of like what the hell happened he was sent to the Amazon to like track down this other doctor who was supposed to be making this like medication for them and she has literally completely cut off contact with the company and she's just living off the company's money like in the Amazon but refuses to talk to anybody. So our main character Marina like goes to the Amazon and she's like trying to find this doctor but literally nobody will tell her where the doctor is and like eventually she does find the doctor. It was just it was just really good. I liked the mystery part of it like what happened to the man who went there. How did he die? Where is this missing doctor? What is she up to? The setting of this was absolutely incredible. There was like a few times where she's actually in the Amazon setting and I felt like there was like bugs crawling all over me. It was just really, really good. It was written really well. I loved the side characters 
literally so much. The doctor that she ends up going to find is one of my favorite characters of all time. I love her so much. I ended up giving this one four stars. It literally would have been five stars for sure, but at the end there was this like really strange romance that happened and it made absolutely no sense to the characters at all and I was just shocked. I was like what the fuck's going on here? So I ended up knocking it down like a star rating. It's probably closer to a 4.5 but I really enjoyed this. And the last book that I read was Tranny and this is by Laura Jane Grace who is the lead singer of the punk rock band Against Me. This is her autobiography and I was lent this by my dear friend Curtis and I read it in literally like 24 hours. It was so fucking good. It was five stars. I usually have have, like a big issue with autobiographies or like biographies at all because usually they just like aren't cohesive and they're like time jumpy and it makes no sense and sometimes it's boring as hell but this had like none of that so this was just really really fucking good so this followed Laura's life from childhood like up until present day and we hear a lot about her like punk rock band and like being the lead singer of a punk rock band and it was like the most interesting shit I've ever read in my life and I literally don't really like to read books about musicians but this was just incredible and there was like an underlying narrative of like her not knowing who she was and like and like basically her trying to understand like if she was transgender. It was absolutely beautiful. I like wanted to cry like a million times. I love her so much. I love her story. I want to be her friend. It was just an absolute pleasure to read. So thank you very much, Curtis. I super appreciate it. I love, love, love this book. Five stars, my only five stars of the month. I would absolutely recommend it to anybody who is super interested in the punk rock scene or if you are interested in following the journey of a trans woman, this is definitely for you. Loved it. So that is all the books I read this month, you guys. If you have read anything, let me know in the comments down below or we can chat on any of my social media accounts, but I am most available on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!